Hey everyone, this is Preetham back at you with some more math, and today we are about to be looking at an interesting integral. I hope everyone's doing great during this pandemic, keeping fit, and now not letting your brain rust. So I just thought, alright, let's just do something interesting today, and this, the credit of this problem just goes to one of my dear friends, Matteo Staccarini, who goes by Potato Salad Lord on YouTube. Thank you, Potato Salad Lord. Thanks to you, we're about to be looking at some interesting stuff today. So this is called Serret's Integral, and it's the first form of it. It's got another form, which I would be covering in another video, but let's stick to the first form today and let's try to evaluate it. I hope, I just encourage you guys to kind of pause the video and try, to, try it on your own. Wrestle with it for a while. Please don't use an online integral calculator, although I doubt it would solve it for you. So good luck with that. Anyway, let's get started. So this integral has a natural log of 1 plus x squared and dx and 0 through a. All right, by the way, I am not about to be typing this all out. I'm about to start writing with my mouse because I really don't want this integral to be a typeathon because the typing takes a little too long for these kinds of problems. So let's get started. Okay, I see 1 plus x squared on the denominator. I think arc 10, but the natural log screws with it. Let's find out in the future. So let's perform a sing simple substitution first up. Uh, let's stick with blue for today. So let x equal the tangent of u, where u is a dummy integration variable. And the derivative of x, that's dx, would be equal to secant squared u. Oh no, that too looks like a z. God, I don't want to be confusing people. Secant squared u d u. Now we got to figure out the limits on that because I really don't want to be computing the indefinite integral of this monster. So let's try figuring that out. The lower limit 0 equals 10 u and u equals 0. And now a equals 10 u and u equals the arc 10 or the tangent inverse of a. There we go. Let's rewrite our integral right now. Now that should be rewritten as a 0. Now that is 10 inverse of a. Now this would be the natural log of 1 plus a tangent of u divided by 1 plus tan squared of u, or tangent squared of u, multiplied by dx, which is secant squared u du, where du is just the variable, or it just says that u is the variable we're integrating with respect to. I hope that wasn't flash news, or if it was, hey, we're in trouble. We better seek help. Just kidding. All right. So, the integral is just starting to look like a mess right now. I just want to clean it up. I hope you guys remember your trigonometric identities, or what they call them in America. Because 1 plus tan squared u would be the same as secant squared u. That's a trig identity, and I'm about to use that to simplify this integral. So let me grab my pen again. Okay, this is just crazy. Alright, secant squared u equals 1 plus tan squared u. So based on that, I can just cancel out this, the denominator, and the du. So now, I have something that's way simpler and does not look like that big of a monster. Let me just switch my colors. So that's 0, and the arc tan of u... Oh, sorry, a, excuse me, I do not want an arc tan of u up there. Because it would just make this problem a hundred times messier, which I, I'm pretty sure nobody wants to see. Rather, I can't solve it myself, being honest. So let's move on. The tangent of u, du. Now, we're about to apply a beautiful theorem called King's Theorem. Where the King's Theorem, it's just another way of redefining functions. So King's Theorem states that f of a, oh sorry, that was supposed to be an x or a u, you could just call it whatever you want, dx, the integral of a to b, 
would be the same as the integral from a to b of x of a plus b minus x when integrated with respect to x. Oh no, just lost my pen again. Come on, guys. Just kidding. None of your fault. So that is King's Theorem. Trust me, it works out with any functions. You could just try it out with an x square and let me know. So I'm pretty sure it works out. It's a pretty cool identity to be using. So let's just try that for the tangent function. And we are going to be substituting very soon. So let me just pick a brown color now. It kind of looks good. It's cool and all that. So now, yeah, we have the arc tan of A. Now the natural log of 1 plus A multiplied by the tangent of the arc tan of A plus 0 is just the arc tan of A. So that is just arc tan A. Oh, I wish I read the shorter version, but it doesn't matter now. Arc tan of A integrated with respect to U. So now, let us apply the tangent. We're about to use another trigonometric identity. I know it's not fun, but hey, that's kind of needed to just simplify your work, make it look a little less intimidating. So yeah. So now tangent of A minus B is the same thing as... Oh my god, why do I keep losing my pen? The same thing as tangent of A, sorry, it's case sensitive, minus the tangent of B divided by 1 plus the tangent of A, whoops, multiplied by the tangent of B. So let us get get going. Now let's simplify this using the very same identity I just proposed. And now we are about to get that. That's a zero through tan inverse of a. And now I have the natural log of one plus a multiplied by the tan. The tan of the arc tan of a is just a. And now I gotta subtract that from the tangent of u, since that was what, since that would just be the tangent of b, where b is u. And now I gotta divide that by 1 plus a product of the numerators, of the absolute values of the numerators. So that would just be a multiplied by the tangent of u. And now that is with respect to du, so now let's simplify that. Okay, I honestly do not like the yellow color, so I'm just about to change my color again. I'm sorry, please bear with my colors. So that's 0 through the tan inverse of A. And now we gotta, let's just simplify that a little. 1 plus A squared minus a tan u divided by 1 plus a tan u. Everything with respect to du. It's all good. Now, the first thing I want to do is I see a 1 and a fraction. I'm just about to redefine 1 in terms of the fraction. So we are about to multiply and divide by a tan u in order to simplify this. So that's the tan inverse of a times uh, with the integrand as the natural log of 1 plus a tan u plus a squared. Oh, that's not a t, that's an a. That's a positive sign. Addition sign. So that is plus a squared minus a tan u divided by... 1 plus a tan u. So now, everything's with respect to du. I see some spicy stuff out there canceling. That's a tan u and a tan u. Get rid of both of them. God, this looks like a lot less of a monster right now. And now, 
Let's get to the meat of simplifying this. This would just be the integral from 0 through the arc 10 of a, or the 10 inwards of a, whichever way you want to call that. That is the natural log of 1 plus a squared divided by, oh no, oh yeah, I didn't lose my pen this time. Kudos to me, a 10 u d u. And now, I'm just about to use the, the property property of natural logarithms, or logarithms in general, to just break that fraction up, break the function up into two different integrals and two different natural logs. So, watch this. It's a pretty cool property. It's been saving my life a little, a little too much lately, I guess. And now this is the natural log of 1 plus a squared du, with respect to u, of course, minus the integral from 0 through the arc 10 of a of the natural log of 1 plus a tan u, or the tangent of u, du. Oh no, can't see that du, can you? I can't either. So yeah, there is the du. Come on, that's pretty important for any integration problem because you got to know which variable you're integrating with respect to. And let me point out one thing real quick. This this expression right here is the same thing as our question. What was up there? So let me just take you back to that step. That is the same as this one. That would be the same as this one right here. So guess what? I could just divide the integral of this, this part, the first part of this, right there, by 2. And so I'm just about to do a quick simplification right there. Zero. Oh no, wrong pen. Oh god, come on, you can't be doing this one note. Let's get all the way down. Yeah, there we go. So let's just set up the integral right there. 0 through the 10 inwards of a of the natural log of 1 plus a tan u du equal to the integral from 0 through arc 10 of a of the natural log of 1 plus a squared du minus the integral right, right up there, the one highlighted circled in blue, the arc 10 of a of the natural log of 1 plus a tan u. Okay, now that a looks like a u, honestly, and I really don't want that to be confusing people, so let's just fix that real quick. a tan u du. So I can just move the second term to the left hand side and have 2 times so let's just do this. That would just be 2 times the integral from 0 to 10 inwards of a of the natural log of 1 plus a tan u. Okay, no, the a is a constant multiplying the tangent. I do not want it to look like a tan u because there's no mathematical function that I know of which is defined as a tan u. Right, it would be great if someone discovered one, but as of now, there's nothing I know of. And now this would be the natural log of 1 plus a squared with respect to u. And as you know, right on the right-hand side, rule number one of integration, there is no u variable, so I just treat that as a constant. And just, just integrate that, so I get u multiplied by the natural log of 1 plus a squared from arc tan of a to 0, and with 0, it's always a 0, so the right-hand side just simplifies to, oh no, wrong pen. Gotta get the right one, can't be choking like that, man. Alright, so that is the arc tan of 1 plus a squared, multiplied by the tan inverse of a, divided by 2, which would be equal to the integral from 0 through the arc tan of a, or, I could just take it back a step further, but I'm just not going to do that. That would be left as an exercise to the viewer. The tangent of u du to be equal to this.
thank you for watching and I, I hope you guys enjoyed this and please do like share subscribe and say something in the comments if you feel something was off or something could be better or you like to see me try some more my emails in the description please do reach out to me with any more problems you want me to solve or just go over and have some fun and please do share this with anyone you want even your professors if you think it was fun and overall just keep supporting me showering your love on me and I will see you next time with another problem, but before we leave, this was the final expression of that monster of an integral. Thank you, and stay safe until next time.